Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are doing well, having a great day. Bailey is going crazy behind me. I don't know why she loves those two stools. She's just been running back and forth and just like loving it. Look at her. Oh, she's chasing her tail. Anyways, had a productive morning. I got my workout in, got ready for the day. I just did myself a pedicure. It was needed. <laughs> um, if you're curious, I've been using the SC gel polish. I originally got this for my nails, but now I've been going to the nail salon, but um, it works really good on the toes, especially like going in water a lot over the summer, it, like lasts a lot longer. It's like a gel couture. So those are on my Amazon store if you're interested. While I was doing that, I also was watching a little Skillshare class. You guys know I love Skillshare. Genuinely just so interesting. Interesting, and you guys know I've worked with them before so they actually partnered with me on today's video So I just wanted to talk about them really quick if you aren't familiar They're an online learning community. They have over millions of members It's a really great place to take the next step in like your creative journey um, There's so many I'm looking over here because I have my computer open with it But literally anything there's so many categories on here if you want to learn more about photography If you want to be more productive if you want to learn about cooking or how to chop things That's a class that I took last time that I talked to you guys about um, or anything super specific like organizing emails there is so many different classes on here whether you're a professional you're a beginner or you're just curious and you just want to learn something new Skillshare has something for everybody there's all different skill levels on here and most classes are under 60 minutes so it fits anybody's schedule and I think especially now what a lot of people are feeling is a sense of not knowing what's next in the world because everything is so up in the air it's like can't really plan ahead for things. So this can kind of give you that feeling where you're working towards a small goal and it can give you that feeling of accomplishment and like you're working towards something and have some sort of structure, you know? So I wanted to show you guys the one that I was watching today and I just thought this would be so fun because Zane and I have been loving making drinks but I've actually said in my videos that I want to step up our game. So this one that I'm watching is Intro to Mixology, Up Your Cocktail Game in 30 minutes. So it's literally just a 30 minute class. Um, down here they have the reviews and there's so many good reviews on it you can see people say if they recommend it for beginner levels and stuff like that there's even little categories here you can see what people liked about it if their expectations have been met there's a discussions tab up here you can talk with other people projects and resources which here if you click on that you can see what people have made because they watched the video um, the class which I think is really really cool you can see how people do it at home and how they learned from the class and made their own drink. I'm on lesson number four and I've already learned so much. It's so interesting. I definitely need to get a few things, but I'm gonna be making some bomb drinks. Especially for the summertime, it's definitely fun to have some nice refreshing drinks. And I'm actually gonna have Zane watch this one with me because he loves making drinks as well and I think he'll learn a lot from this also. So I find it to be a lot of fun. Learning something new is just a great way to fight off boredom as well or it's like a good form of self-care. Like I was just doing my nails watching this. I learned something. It's really Really interesting and you can always learn something new so why not I genuinely think this is a great resource for you guys I do see you guys in the Facebook group um, asking like about starting your own business and things like that and this is a great website that you can use to watch um, they have classes on entrepreneurship or starting your own business or how to do certain things um, that will give you those skills and that skill set to skill share huh to uh, start your own business and stuff whether it's literally anything so Highly recommend. Of course, I have an offer for you guys. The first 1,000 people that click that link in my description will get a free two-month trial of the premium membership so that you can go and explore your creativity. So make sure you go click that link, be the first 1,000 people, and go learn something new or chase your dreams, whatever you're feeling. Go check it out. Okay, it's been a little bit of a hectic day, you guys. I had to get a lot of work done, so it is now 4.30, and Zayn and I are deciding to have an early dinner because he just worked out and has to have like protein right after, and I'm hungry, so we're just gonna have an early dinner, and we're gonna do a barbecue. Fun, fun, we've been doing those so much, but it's just been so nice and so easy, and it's been so beautiful outside in the new backyard. You guys know the drill, so let's do, we're gonna do ribeyes, and then we're gonna do some veggies. Oh yes, perfect. We have some mixed vegetables. We can just steam them in the microwave. Very simple and easy. And potato, babe? Um, Steak, veggie, potato? Sure. Sure. I'm gonna microwave them first. That way they're soft and then they won't take as long on the barbecue. Whoa. 
This has been my favorite thing though ever since I discovered it. Putting these on the barbecue, they come out so yummy. So Zane is gonna go ahead and weed whack. I'm gonna start prepping dinner. And then I also still have to have him help me put that deck box together. And we're supposed to be, that is not my phone. <laughs> we're all supposed to be receiving another thing from FedEx today. I'm not sure which item it is. I think it might be the lounge chair. So it's good that he's weed whacking. We'll have like fresh grass and stuff to be able to like assemble that. That'll be fun. Um, actually, Ow, can we do the deck box first so I can put the cushions away so that grass doesn't get all over the white cushions? Uh, yeah, that's fine. Okay. Holy heat wave. Oh my god. Okay, here's the sitch. How's my plants doing? Look it! Look at the scallions. I have to water them. Holy shit! See all that green? Yeah. That wasn't there. Yeah, and look! Look, look, look! That's he so has cool. an eggplant are coming out. <laughs> Cool. Wow, this rosemary does grow like a weed. Okay, so this top? Yeah. It needs to be attached via these. Okay. That's it. But I can't comprehend how to do it. I don't understand. I think I have to hold it up and then you clip it in. I think you just have to clip it in. I think I just didn't have a straight. I don't. That's not what I was reading. Ask one person holding the lid open side with the opposite aligned with the top side of back panel like the drawing to a Okay, so what we're doing. Oh, you got it! You just worked out, come on. Got that pump. My right arm. Oh. Shit. My right arm is strong. I'm still learning to deal with all this new kind of strength. Hey, easy. Sorry. I'm just so strong now. You're just too strong. You, you squatted it out of there. You said, yeet! <laughs> That's one. Oh, see, we just needed a man. <laughs> oh my god, how was I gonna do this? There was no way. If you're pushing this hard, yeah, yeah. Oh my god. Baby, this is supposed to stay clean and you're going in there with your dirty shoes. My white things are gonna go in here. Oh my god. <laughs> I feel like I was in the tick spot. Alright, I'm gonna need you to push back because I can't get like a good grip. No, but really, though, why are you in there? So I can get a better uh, grip to push. You're gonna in. eat me into the fence. <laughs> Here, you do the pushing. I'm holding it strong. Are you ready? I don't think it's straight. I gotta use both hands. Push the, baby, push the bottom. Oh my god. <laughs> You're eating me. <laughs> Imagine the box just a stand. being trapped in there. Okay, good to know. Are these gonna fit? If I'm fitting, then yeah. I don't know, they might be too tall and too wide. I can make it fit. Oh. Wow, a lot of room in here. Wait, what if they go down? No. Hold it, no, put it oh, diagonal. No, this way. Here, put them all in and then we'll try closing it. I don't think that's gonna close. Unless they sit like that. Yeah, and then put those two over here. And then what about those? So little. It's good. And these we could just squeeze them. Well, and this one will fit perfectly right here, though. But this can slide right here. My lounger thing is not going to be able to fit in here. That's the only thing. But yeah, we only have to do out. this when it rains. And just because you're weed whacking, I don't want to get grass. I mean, there are pillows. You could, like, really force it in there. Right. You know? Bloop. Oh, no. See? It's caving. It's not going to stay waterproof. We might just have to take those inside. Right. You know what I mean? Like when I put these big ones in the deck box, just take like maybe these two pillows inside. Alright, so take them on right now. Yeah. That way it doesn't cave. Well, if we get a lock and we lock this, it should be able to hold them. Yeah. Or I we guess. just need something to like, even if there's like a small pin that we could just put straight through. So that it stays closed. Yeah. A metal pin. I knew I should have got 150 gallons. This is pretty. It is really nice. We're gonna put it over there? Yeah. Okay. 
Well, that was fun. Okay, now while he weed wax, we're actually gonna start prepping some dinner. My hair, you guys, I have not been bothered to style it. I have not styled it in probably, I don't know, maybe over a month and a half. I wanna say two months, but that might be dragging it. I probably have done it. It's just been so hot. You just don't wanna do anything. You just want it up and out of your face all the time, which I'm not minding, cause that I'm giving it a break from heat. I don't have to do anything to style it. It's been fine. So look at these freaking potatoes. They're like so long. That's what she said. Okay, I'm gonna give them a wash. And then I'm just drying them off with some paper towels. Bella's like, what the hell is going on out there? Then I'm just gonna take a fork and we're just gonna stab a few breathing holes for her. <laughs> I wrapped them in a paper towel. I'm gonna put them in the microwave for like, mm, I'm gonna start with five minutes and we'll see how they are from there, but probably longer than that. It just depends how like big your potato is, you know? Let's see how Zane's doing out here. He's got his headphones in. How's it going? It's good? What's up? Going good? Yeah. Okay. I might need to, uh, even though it'll kind of be a pain in the butt, I might have to bring the lawnmower. Mower. Like, the edges really well with this thing. Yeah. But like right here, the grass is so thick, and yeah. this is like electric, so it's not as powerful as yet. Right. So I'm like barely getting through it. Yeah, you might be better off with the lawnmower. Yeah, I'm gonna keep trying, but if it's not, then I'll bring out the... Okay. Now, the meat that we're gonna use is ribeye steaks, these are from Lidl. These are our absolute favorite, they are so yummy. We do like them in the cast iron skillet, but today we're doing a barbecue because it's just so easy and it's nice out. Oh my gosh, by the way, I don't know if you guys care, but um, I got this pork thing, it was a pork loin from Lidl, and it was like their brown sugar kind of thing, and it was not good at all. It tasted so smoky, and I hate that flavor, so if you like that flavor, you would like it, but zero out of 10, would not get again. Where's the other steak? Oh my god, I was like, no way, I only got one? Okay, beautiful, steak, veggies, potato, balanced meal. <laughs> I also started to store this little side table because since we have no table yet, this has been really helpful. And I usually keep it in the living room to eat in there, but we don't really use it in there anymore, so it's been really helpful to have just like right next to the fridge to just grab, bring it outside and we can set everything on it. All right, and now we're gonna prep the steaks. I just flipped the potatoes over and did them for another five minutes. I just felt like they needed them. I'm just putting the steaks right onto this tray and I'm just gonna season them on here. All right, Zane usually does this, so let's hope that I don't mess it up. <laughs> I'm gonna do some fresh black pepper, some coarse salt. I'm just gonna use a spatula since we're using it for the barbecue anyway, just flip them over. Before you guys come at me with the salt, these steaks need a lot of salt to be flavorful. It makes them taste really good and I like my food to taste good, so you guys put how much salt you want on your food, okay? <laughs> I'm also gonna melt a tablespoon of butter and bring out the brush so that once we're cooking them, we can brush on some melted butter. Yum. All right, luckily I have just enough tin foil left to cover our two potatoes. Hot. Duh. And for the potatoes, I'm just gonna do some olive oil and then some salt. So funny, Zane walked in and he was like, you're doing the steaks? Ah, interesting. <laughs> so we're gonna see how they come out because I've never done them. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna sneak a little garlic powder on here and we're gonna see how they come out and see if Zane notices or likes them. I'm curious to see if it would make them taste really good because usually he only does salt and pepper. Let's try it. All right, we got our little brushy thing. I'm melting the butter right now. Potatoes are ready to go onto the grill. And I just steamed the veggies, so I'm gonna start bringing everything out now. Melted butter. Okay, we are ready. Ready. Oh my God, we are eating good tonight. This is gonna be so good. Baby, I've been thinking about the things we said. Oh yeah. And maybe we'd be better off being just friends. Oh yeah, it's getting kinda obvious what you want from me. Alright, we brought everything out, got our little table. I need to What? What was that? What do you think? <laughs> Why'd you a make mosquito. a <laughs> I need to find out what material this is and then get like a black aluminum table or have my dad build a wood one, we'll see. 
but I want like a long table kind of of this width to put right here. So if you guys have any suggestions, leave me some links. Anyways, all right, let's start cooking. I've had it preheating. Got the ribeyes, the melted butter. You gotta brush that butter on there, okay? Ooh. Oh, I should've did it side. I'm gonna do your sideways so you get nice grill marks. You'll still get grill marks. Yeah, but they're not gonna Oh my God. <laughs> okay, hello, what about our potatoes? You just don't even care. Oh, I had to take the other one out. I'll put it back in. Oh, have fun with that. They're so hard to get back in. Well, I literally was trying for so long to get it, like, go around it. And, and you couldn't. I'm like, yeah. right, I'm not Look at all my greenery. Such a bad spot for it. But I guess once we get the lounge, it'll be good. How long did you cook those potatoes for? The microwave? Yeah. 10 minutes. Oh, so they're, like, done more or less. Yeah, they should be. Okay. Because lower the heat, too. I think you're supposed to cook steaks on microwave. Oh, okay. Even though it's On the same side? Yeah, one of the Oh. Maybe, is the grill as high as the grill? It's a little bit less. No, it's pretty much up there. I got no marks at all. No marks? Huh. It's said four to five minutes each side. Uh, I will like, tell you, it like smells amazing though. It smells like butter. Yeah. Really Smells good. good. All right, so we put the deck box over here. It looks pretty good. We have to get rid of that dirt from when my dad dug up the hole for the pole. Our grass just needs, she's she needs fertilizer and water. I know you guys have recommended a lot to put rocks, like white and gray rocks. That would be really pretty. However, I've already invested a lot of money into here and we're not gonna be living here for a really long time. So I just honestly don't want to invest too much more money of things that I can't bring with me. The furniture and everything we can bring with us. But as far as putting down rocks, I just feel like it's an unnecessary thing. I'd rather just try and water and put some fertilizer down on the grass and try and grow it back because it's just been so hot it got like heat damage and we haven't watered it so with that being said we're just gonna try and keep the grass healthy as much as we can I'm not gonna go too crazy with it over here isn't too bad it was really green I just think today's heat like well the last few days heat kind of just like killed it so tonight I'm gonna water it I'm gonna um, put some seed down and um, yeah just when the Sun goes down a little bit more so that um, it doesn't get damaged but yeah, we're gonna try and revive her. Voila, dinner is served. Oh my God, it looks so good. We're just leaving on the potatoes just to get them a little bit more cooked because we kind of eat the steak first because we like it to be really hot anyway. So we might as well leave the potatoes on while we eat. So we're gonna enjoy. Oh, we need to put salt and pepper on these veggies because I didn't do anything to them. Can't wait to get a table. Wow, so excited. I've never been more excited I'm for so a excited table. For <laughs> Thank you, baby. You're welcome. It's actually gonna be so much more nicer out here though, like in the fall time. It's so it's here. so hot right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, we're also in the middle of a heat wave. That's true. What is it right now? 92? 96. Whew. My wind muff is not good. I mean, behind here it should be fine, but. Oh, she's medium rare. Oh, yes. Good. Where is the fat? How's my seasoning? Okay, seasoning queen. Yeah. Usually we need to add more salt, no? This table. Mm -hmm. This table. I should get the other table that we had out there. What do we think? That's my salt and pepper ratio. Oh, it's actually like medium. Mm. Wow, and I still only cooked it. Damn. I still gotta perfect the grill cooking, but medium is so good. Mm. Oh. Manjo. I did a secret. Hmm. I really like the butter wash. I actually taste it. Mm hmm What's the secret? That's not my secret. Olive oil? No. Mmm. Is it a different seasoning? Tell me, steak king. All right. I think it made a great difference. Mmm, it came out really good. Last time we made them on the barbecue, it didn't come out as good. Mm -hmm. It's either Parmesan or garlic. Garlic powder? Yeah. Good, no? Yeah. Mmm. Wow. We should have used some rosemary. Oh shit, our fresh rosemary. From our garden, yeah. I should have put on the potatoes. Next time I want to show them, well, next time I go to Lido, I'm going to get the chicken wings. I want to show them that recipe that we that I did last time. It was to die for and I did it all on my own. Chicken wings on the barbecue. It's going to be next time. Because I do it, we need, we need a few things from Lido. I have to go soon. We need um, aluminum foil, chicken. All right, that was a lovely dinner and we are now on to the next project of the night. My mom is going to be here in a little bit and I mentioned it briefly in the last vlog, but I had the idea to give our kitchen a little bit of an upgrade, make it look a little bit more modern and to spray paint the handles 
of our kitchen cabinets. So right now they're all silver. I got a matte black spray paint, which is right here. Whoa, it closes like that? <gasps> wow, good to know. I thought the freaking <laughs> spray bottle didn't fit in here. Cool. I got this Rust-Oleum spray paint. It's good for like wood, metal, a bunch of different materials. And I just want to give the kitchen an upgrade. So I'm going to tidy up. That way I can take a cute before picture. I mean, I'm sure I have one, but you know what I mean? I just want to show you guys a nice before and after and it just needs to be tidied in here. And then luckily, since we just did all the furniture outside, we have a ton of cardboard to spray paint on outside. So we'll get on our gloves. We'll get the cardboard. We are now cleaned up and here is an overview of the before. I am so excited. I think this is going to make such a nice small difference. Well, I think it's going to make a big difference, but it's like a small thing, easy thing to do. So now we have to unscrew everything. I'm going to use my little mini screw gun just so it'll take way less time. So let's get it done. My mom will be here soon and then we will spray paint. Woo! <laughs> I'm actually excited. That sounded like a bad woohoo. That was a good woohoo. It's on the charger because it was dead, but let's see that way. She's dead, Venge. Oh, come down and see all the cats together. I know, so cute. Wow! It worked. Oh shit, what did you do? I'm using the electric one, but it's dead. So it just took a while, but I think once it charges, it'll be better. All right, yeah, so I'm gonna have to use that electric screwdriver once it charges. For now, we're just gonna do the one by hand. Oh, my mom's here. Hello? Oh, dad came. He just got here at the same time as me. Oh, I didn't I know you were coming. What a nice surprise. Hi, dad. <laughs> Hi. I just have to get gas. I was just struggling with this. <laughs> I was what? Gonna, I was gonna oh. go home and take a shower, but came here. Oh. oh, what happened? It's not. Well, it's you have to charge? Yeah, you have to charge it. Baby. What do you want to do? You want to paint them? I'm spray painting them black. Um, I got the rust -oleum. Just so like, I think it'll give it a nice refresh in here, don't you think? That's what we have. A nice ours are bronze. A nice upgrade. You had to screw these into like cardboard. I know, actually yeah. I get a piece? And mom can start doing yeah, that? Yeah, she could do that. Yeah, that's what I said. Put like I do. Put it in there yeah. and you just spray them. It's not gonna yeah, these aren't going to want to stand up either. So why don't you just spray mm. them on one side and then flip them, them and spray them again? It's because hot enough. they're going to get sticky and they're going to get marks. You think so? Yes, absolutely. I've done it before. So then I should just order black knobs. <laughs> no, no, no. Let me see the cardboard. Can we guys. just make little holes and pop it through? Yeah, I want to try. Yeah, how about that? But I think you should do the stand-up box, not that. You're like a glutton for work, huh? You like to... <laughs> what do you mean? Like, I would have been like... Leave well enough yeah, alone. because you're a man now, you don't care about anything. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, okay. How long did that take? 8.25. What time did you get here? <laughs> it's gonna be 7.30. Okay, well, that took us like an hour to get them all off. We can't do these two because they're like under the sink. So we're just gonna like put like tape or cardboard or something around it. What are you gonna spray it? On the grass over there. Oh, it looks nice. You cut everything. Yeah, it looks way better, right? I just need to, tonight, actually like now, I'm gonna water and put down seeds and stuff. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. But it looks nice because it's more cozy. Yeah, but once and we have box. the table, it'll be. Yeah, the box is nice, right? Yeah, I like it. It fits there perfect. Yeah. What have they given you, you enough shade in your thing for it? Uh, no, it's definitely sunny at certain points of the day. The because it comes in. It depends on the angle of the sun. I yeah. Because it's small, that's why. It's yeah, it like. Move. Yeah, it goes through here. Let me light these so that we have more light. It looks like this stuff grew already. It did. Right? It did grow. Yeah. Been watering it? Yeah, I'm about to right now. I only water it when the sun's not out, because otherwise it'll burn them. Nice. Vibey. Great. Straight vibing. Glove me up. Got it? No, hold on. It's Struggling. Calm in the end. <laughs> Struggling. <laughs> they're a little big, but they're good. Okay, got it. Glove me up. Ice me out. Have you heard that song on TikTok? No. That freaking prank you sent me where they lie 
about them the mother breaking a hip. Up. I wanted to do that to you. Now you saw it already because you go on oh TikTok. My God, that's funny. So that's funny. funny. Would do it too. Uh, she totally would. She'd be like, my hip. You know who sent it to me, Annie? And I said, oh my God, this thing would do this to me. And I would go home and be like, okay, I fell. The lady slip flops her over there. It's hilarious. <laughs> hilarious. Did you watch other people's or just that one? No, I didn't. Oh. So funny. All right. I'm going to put my flashlight. No, I'm not. Oh, yes, I am. So we did it in a way. Oh, by the way, I don't know if I explained this. I don't remember what I vlogged. Life hack, we screwed it into a cardboard box so that we didn't have to do like one side and then flip it and then get all runny. Now they're like standing up straight. And then my dad did it in a way. He wanted to stay to make sure that we did it right so that when we flip it, then these will stay upright, whatever. You did it the right way? Okay. So here you go. Dad's going to videographer. I'm scared. Nervous. Right, and do it lightly, just one spray, go back and forth, don't make it thick. You just do one light coat, otherwise it'll drip. Now I gotta do the sides though. Yeah. Can you see? Yeah, I can see. I love the smell, dude. <laughs> it smells so good. Am I doing a good job? You're not yelling at me. Wonderful. I can't really see that well. Let me see. <laughs> Did you get the tips? It's good. You don't want it to drip. Looks good? Yeah. Okay. Just make sure you got the ends. Oh, like this side. I always go back. Idea. Right now, hold this and I'll flip it. Okay. DIY dad with the life hacks. See, now you should, now just, you should stay. just stay in place. Let's see. Did your theory work? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, now we can do these ones. You move. This is Bella, I mean, Bailey and Benji's sanctuary. Oh, what is this called? The tunnel that we're, we messed up. Okay, there she goes. There's the finished result. I know we can't really see that well, but they look pretty good. I also grabbed the handles from the office doors and then also the little TV stand that we have in the living room. Those were silver as well, so I just did those black. And why not? Because we're here and it's going to look beautiful. I'm excited. I'm freaking sweating though, you guys. But another thing that I was thinking of is the sink faucet is silver and obviously I don't think you can spray that unless there's spray paint that is waterproof. Something to consider or I could just buy a new faucet, but again, I just don't want to invest too much more. We'll see how it looks, because there is silver and black appliances in the kitchen, so we'll see how it holds together, looks together. All right, you guys, my parents have left. I'm trying to be a little quiet because my neighbors are out watching a movie on a projector. <laughs> I don't want to interrupt, but I did my watering for the night. Um, we put down seed on the grass, and I watered the grass, so hopefully that will start growing. We also planted another plant, um, if you guys remember. In my last vlog, I spray painted this pot. I don't know if you can really see well. I guess I have to get up. <laughs> this couch is just so comfy. I was watching TikToks until my phone died. This little planter that I spray painted, it was orange. I spray painted it black. And then we put that plant that was inside the house that I didn't like the casing of. The casing. I lose words when I start vlogging. I didn't like what it was in, so we covered it up. And it looks so cute right here. I love it. And now it is hot out. It's actually getting nice and like breezy now so it feels really nice it was so relaxing just sitting there but i'm gonna take one of these handles inside just to see it in the light oh yeah they're definitely dry i want to see what it looks like inside to see if it needs a second coat because you can't really tell out here even if i put a flashlight on it like you just can't really tell how it's gonna look inside so let's go see moment of truth actually let me put my phone on the charger that would be smart Alyssa. oh it is so relaxing out here you guys like i literally could just take a nap on that couch okay okay Oh, not bad. I don't even think they need a second coat, actually. I hope I end up liking it because this gray might clash with it, but we'll see. Too late now, Alyssa. Okay, cool. I'm gonna um, just bring them inside and let them sit overnight, and then I will show you guys the result of what they look like on here tomorrow.
and I wanted to give you guys my final thoughts on everything. At first, I didn't like it, but I like tidied up the kitchen and I think it actually looks really nice. I think it's gonna grow on me more. And then also once the weather starts to get a little crappy, I'm gonna like redecorate inside. I have a lot of different plans. I wanna get all new rugs. I wanna like redecorate here, find a new middle thing for here. There's just a lot of little switch ups that I wanna make in here that I think it will like, I'll tie things in. Like maybe I'll like add a little bit of black into the rug right there so it'll like tie in the black. We'll see, but I definitely wanna wait for the weather to get crappy so that I don't waste the nice weather and I wanna use the nice weather to renovate outside. You guys catch the drift, but yeah, I think it looks a lot better than I was expecting. I definitely didn't have high hopes. I thought I was not gonna like it. So my sister's over there playing with Bailey. <laughs> so yeah, there you have it. Back to the vlog. You make You guys, I was just coming up the stairs and just look at it. That, it's just so relaxing. I can't wait till we get our little table. Oh, I freaking love it out here. I'm so happy that I decided to do this makeover. Okay, I watered over there. It looks actually pretty good once Zane weed whacked because now it's all like nice one layer. And I actually looked at the tracking and it does say that the chair, it, it, first of all, it says arriving not even delivered it says arriving july 10th which it is way past july 10th so weird it also doesn't even say that like the couch that you guys are on right now was delivered and i ordered all this stuff from target so i think their tracking system is just off but it does say that the lounger is supposed to come tomorrow i know i said today but it's supposed to come tomorrow so that would be cool another update that i want to tell you guys is my dad said that he does actually have sand so i'm just going to put a little bit of sand in the bottom of that vase and then we also decided that he's going to build me a little table he wants to build me one um we're going to make it three feet by one and a half wide I'm pretty sure and then we also said that we're gonna put a shelf about a foot down that way when I do barbecue we can have a spot for like ketchup and mayo and condiments and plates or whatever we need to store down there and then on top we can do like the food and stuff that way we have somewhere to put the barbecue stuff because it's always a struggle whenever we barbecue where to put shit so at least we'll have a little table here and then we can have a table there for eating all right I'm gonna shut down shop this is the fun part of the night is trying to get these damn caps on these. So terrifying. Gotta just have confidence, you know? Yes, okay, first try. That was no edits, you guys. I better hurry up, because I have the handles sitting in there. I need to move them in the office and close that door. Otherwise, they're gonna be the cats, I mean, by them. Oh shit, what do I do now? Ah! Oh my God, that was scary. This is a lot of pressure, you guys. It seems easy, but it's not. Oh, it's coming this way. Oh my god. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, 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 okay. We got this, we got this, we got this. One, two, three. Don't be a little bitch. Mama didn't raise no bitch. Okay. Wow. This is, this is the thrill of the day. I think you just gotta like not be scared. Like just, okay, yep, exactly. Nice. Okay. And then this is my mom's trick so that if any dirt or animals get onto the pads at least it's on the back this i'm just gonna lay down so that the glass doesn't break if it falls and you just fold these down if it was raining i would put them in our new deck box but we're just gonna leave them down like this for now wow you guys weren't touching it impressive all right you guys late night snack me and zane are about to watch some tiktok so i'm gonna make this quick i didn't film it because i honestly thought it was gonna be trash but it's pretty freaking good so i got inspired because the other night zane made a chicken buffalo kind of dip and i was like let me try it with a can of tuna because i wanted to have something like lower cal because i ate kind of high calorie today and i just wanted something um on the healthier side but i was like canned tuna by itself mm, not gonna happen so what i did was really quickly i put a pan on the stove sprayed it with some olive oil spray Put the tuna in, salt, pepper, dried chives. Then I put in a little bit of cheese. <laughs> what is that fake cream cheese called? Can you look up how to pronounce it once and for all? Yeah, I think it's like nefshadl. Nefshadl? Nefshadl? It looks like a package of cream cheese, but it's like lower fat. New Chatel. New Chatel. New Chatel. Okay, put some New Chatel, put a little bit of cottage cheese, a good amount of that actually. Mix that in, let it get nice and creamy. Then I put some Frank's Red Hot Buffalo, mix that in. And then I just put a little bit of Fiesta cheese on top and I'm pretty sure that's it. And it's 
pretty damn good. I'm gonna have a few Ritz with it, but I'm mostly gonna just eat it with my fork. But this is like a really good dip. Nice and easy and yummy. It serves that like unhealthy craving. Okay, we're gonna watch TikToks. Peace out. Look at this little angel. She just, she refuses to lay down. She's just, oh, oh. I think you're falling asleep standing up. Maybe you should lay down. Hi, <laughs> that was so cute. I do have faith that she's gonna be long haired because I don't. Hair, I think you, she's short. No, did you see her chest? It looked like kind of like Dully's bottom. Obviously not as. Bailey, really, what do you think? Is she gonna be long haired? Blink if she's gonna be long haired. Bailey, oh, you're kissing Benj. <laughs> I didn't even realize. Oh, are you looking at his ass? Baby, I think she's looking at his ass. He's saying hello. You can't do that. That is so nasty. Not gonna lie, you guys, I was planning on saving some of it for tomorrow, but that slapped so hard. It was actually so good. I should have filmed it for you guys. I just thought it was not gonna be good, but I didn't even really need many Ritz. I like ate it with a fork. It was bomb. Wow, you guys, I just took my hair down from that bun that it's been in for how many days? I cannot even tell you. Don't worry, she's going in the shower. All right, so today's notification shout out and question of the day comes from Sammy. She said, notifications are on. What is your favorite part about doing vlogs? Love you so much. Love you so much. And obviously there's a bunch of things that are my favorite about doing vlogs. A, I just love the interaction that I have with all of you guys and being able to hear your feedback and you know, just have a little family that likes to watch my daily life is really, really awesome. I feel like that's like, oh my God, this hair. But I feel like that's an answer that like you would have expected. So another thing that I would say is my favorite is the planning process. Um, ever since I like started doing more realistic thumbnails and titles, it's been a lot of fun for me to figure out what I want to film on one day and planning it out and making the thumbnails and figuring out the titles and um, I have a lot of fun with that creative process of like planning out my videos. I also just love filming in general. Like you guys know my videos are really long. I don't shut up. I just really enjoy the process of filming things. I should have kept my hair up. I'm so sorry. Just a mess. <laughs> All right, you guys, that's it for me today. If anybody else would like to ask me a question, comment down below, letting me know that you have on my notifications and you might be in my next video. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all next time. Bye guys. Somebody else